is Daisy EA, personal nutritionist extraordinaire, nutrition simplicity queen, coming to you yet again with another juicy topic. How many of us know that our cookware is a potential conduit for harmful toxins and metals coming into our body and our environment? If you've been following me for a while on social media, you would know that I'm all about plugging the leaks in your healthy living journey. And unfortunately, our cookware is an important element and a conduit for leaks. All right? We stand the chance of being exposed to harmful metals and chemicals like lead, cadmium, aluminum, and PFAs. PFAs are the most dangerous. A family of over 4,000 chemicals and they exist as Teflon PFTE in our non stick pants. PFOA, which is another dangerous chemical, is present in the manufacturing process of Teflon. This is why in 2013 manufacturers were forced to change the chemicals used for non-stick pants. Now they assure us that there's no PFTE, there are no PFOAs or PFAs in the current non-stick pants in the market, but who can really tell and who can really trust anyone right now, right? So I'm here today to talk about the changes I am making in my household and how we can get safer alternatives to cookware so we're cooking healthy meals and we're protecting our families in the same breath so let's go so what makes pfas dangerous pfas have been linked to thyroid issues cancers cholesterol levels decreased responses to vaccines um lung damage and the the dangerous thing about it is they don't just affect the mother or the father, they affect the unborn children as well. And they can have issues whilst they're in the womb. Um, PFAs can leach into the environment when people are discarding their pots or washing you know, the metal pieces down the sink. So it's so, so dangerous. And the interesting thing about it again is that they, um, Teflon is not just used for cookware. Teflon is used in the automobile industry, the pharmaceutical industry, in manufacturing of even light bulb holders. So there's a possibility that you have Teflon in your home and it's not just your cookware. So this is why we need to be so intentional and we need to do our research to find out what exactly goes into our products. So I'm in the process of changing my entire cookware set. I've started doing that already. Even though non-stick is so versatile, it's so easy to clean, and it's so easy to cook with, I have to think of my health. So what are the things you should look for when you want to select a new cookware set. Number one, how does it get clean? Are you particular about it being clean in a dishwasher or do you want it to just be hand washed? So that's one of the things people look out for. The second thing people look out for is how durable is it? How does it hold up to daily use? Are you aware that you're not supposed to use your non-stick pan for more than two to three years? You're supposed to discard it. Hmm. I bet some of us have been using our non-stick pan for like five, six years. So now you know, cast iron pots have been described as the most durable and the most um, sturdy pots you can ever have in your kitchen. Number three, are there evidence-based health risks associated with the cookware you want to choose so teflon in non-stick is already a red flag for people because of all the research and the bad press 
you know, around non-stick and the effects to our health. Um, basic aluminium pots have some links to Alzheimer's. So you need to know what the health risks are associated with the cookware you have decided to use. And the last thing you need to figure out is was it manufactured in a clean and green way? There's this pot I've been looking at and I don't know if I'm going to get it. It's called the Always Pan. The Always Pan is claimed to be manufactured in a very clean and ethical way and the company claims that it's non-stick that is devoid of all PFA and dangerous chemicals. So that's one part I think I'm going to be getting. I just want to see how it looks and how it feels because it's supposed to be clean, non-stick and I'm super excited about that. So let's start with cookware. The first one I'm going to be talking about is aluminum. Aluminum is affordable, it's versatile, it's easy to clean, and it's a fantastic heat conductor. But if you want a safe option of aluminum pots, you should go for anodized aluminum. Anodized aluminum has been fortified to ensure that the aluminum does not leach into your food and it is safe and healthy for you to cook because aluminum leaching in food has been linked according to research and studies to Alzheimer's disease in old age. The second cookware set is stainless steel. Stainless steel is affordable, it's easy to clean, easy to maintain, it's sturdy enough to withstand a lifetime of daily use and there are no adverse health um, risks attached to stainless steel. Stainless steel is also a wonderful um, conductor of heat and it doesn't suffer any rust or um, corrosions. But if you want a really good set, look for a stainless steel set that has an aluminium or a copper um, based core. The only downside to stainless steel is you can't put it in the microwave of course and it is not traditionally non-stick even though you can do the mercury test to make it non-stick stainless steel is not traditionally non-stick if you have a nickel allergy you need to be careful if you scratch your stainless steel pots um, nickel can leach into your food and cause problems so if you're going to cook with stainless steel please use silicon or wooden kitchen utensils so you do not scratch your pot. The next cookware set we're gonna talk about is ceramic. So ceramic is split into pure ceramic and coated ceramic, okay? But it's a greener option um, from Teflon non-stick. It's also non-stick if you're working with the coated ceramic. So coated ceramic is a coating on top of an anonized aluminum base so the aluminum base heats up the pan, um, the pan evenly but you get your non-stick um, effect with the ceramic coating it's a safer option um, for you to use but you need to bear in mind that over time that coating is going to wear off and then you would need to replace the pots again. Ceramic pots are obviously fragile, so you also need to be careful if you want to invest in ceramic pots for a cleaner and greener option and you know alternative to Teflon nonstick. Just bear in mind that it's fragile and can break easily. The traditional ceramic pot is not a great heat conductor right because it doesn't have any metal it's all pure clay but like i said it's a greener option and ceramic pots handle higher um, heat temperatures better than their non-stick counterparts so another cookware set I'm, I'm really excited about is glass glass is one of the cookware sets i have been looking at it might be to change my cookware set 
from non-stick to safer options. It's super healthy, it's free of toxic materials and chemicals, is inert to acidic foods, and it's super hygienic, right? Um, glass is good if you're doing a lot of oven baking. Um, it keeps food warm for a long time, so it's something you can like cook with and then keep on the table if you have guests coming over and you want your food warm for a long period of time. The only reason why I'm not going to go with glass is because it's super fragile and is not strong for stove top cooking. Some proponents say it is good for stove top cooking, but I've seen um, research that counters that argument so i've decided to stay away from glass but i will get it for my oven based cooking but i need something that is a bit stronger for my stove top cooking because i do a lot of stove top cooking the next cookware set is cast iron cast iron is becoming a global favorite like it's everybody's new e-baby okay so cast iron is made from iron and it's a fantastic conductor of heat it's non-stick because it's been seasoned so seasoning is um, treating your cast iron in an oven with a coating of oil which helps to make it non-stick it's a fantastic conductor of heat it takes high temperatures you can use a cast iron pot for anything and it's good for people who have iron deficiencies because it leaches iron into the food without changing the taste of the food a lot of people are moving towards cast iron um, for the green option the health property if you have hemochromatosis a disorder that makes the body absorb a lot of iron and hold on to iron then you need to stay away from cast iron cookware because if it has the tendency to leach iron into your food then you'll be doing yourself more harm than good so that's just a little of caution but other than that cast iron is amazing enabled cast iron double amazing so if you're looking to change your cookware set from non-stick like me cast iron is the way to go it lasts forever you can pass it on to generations the only thing about it is that it's not dishwasher safe if you're particular about that it's super expensive it's super heavy you can't use it you can't use it in the microwave and it heats up slowly but other than that cast iron is amazing the next cookware set we're going to be talking about is titanium titanium is on the same level as cast iron it's amazing it's free from toxins and chemicals it's traditionally non-stick it lasts a lifetime it is inert to acidic food so you can use it for your acidic um, food cooking um, it's biocompatible so it doesn't have the body in fact surgeons use titanium um, when they have to like replace body parts or reinforce our, our body parts during surgery right so titanium is amazing it weighs less than steel it is resistant to rust it works on all cooking um, top stove top oven top gas electric name it it doesn't alter the taste of food it accommodates high heat cooking and what makes it super amazing is that it's not just resistant to rust it is resistant to scratching my blown <laughs> that means you can use any utensil on titanium pure titanium pots are pretty pricey so most people go for titanium coated pots hmm. 
now I have a lot of thinking to do. Do I do titanium? Do I do ceramic? Or do I do cast iron? Still thinking, I don't know. <laughs> On a general note, there are certain food safety tips for cooking regardless of the cookware you choose, all right? So I'm gonna share these tips with you to help minimize your exposure to metals and materials. The first thing is don't store food in pots or pans where you've cooked it unless you're using glass or stone bakeware. So once you're done cooking and the food has cooled down, please store in safer um, storage containers to avoid chemical or metal bleaching in your food. The second thing is avoid using metal or hard cooking utensils with your cookware irrespective of what is on the box or in the manufacturing guide because once your kitchen utensils scratch your cookware you are compromising the surface of your pots and pans and this can lead to metal or chemical leaching. Number three, minimize the amount of time your food is in contact with your pots and pans, which is, you know, almost directly linked with the first tip I shared, which talks about you not storing your food for long periods of time in your, in, in your cookware. Use a small amount of lubricant. So we're talking like um, your oils or your fats, right? Olive oil, coconut oil, or butter with any type of cookware to minimize the amount of invisible metal that sticks to your food. Clean your pots and pans thoroughly after each use to limit bacteria, um, infection and um, infestation into your food and replace cookware such as non-stick or aluminium every two to three years or when gorges or scratching in the coating happen it's really important so we're talking anodized aluminium we're talking ceramic coated um, pots and non-stick pans so anodized aluminium and ceramic coated pots have aluminium as their base and non-stick pots also have aluminium as their, as their base and then they have the chemicals in the non-stick coating so once these pots have been scratched it is really important that you replace them as soon as possible to avoid metal or chemical leaching guys it's all about plugging plugging the leaks in our healthy living journey and making sure that as we're striving to eat healthy and be healthy we're not opening the door to toxins coming into our lives through our cookware remember even though the information about cookware is so overwhelming and scary not everyone is going to react to cookware the same way if you enjoyed this video if you learned something i need you to do four things for me please like share comment and subscribe my name is daisy ea i'm your personal nutritionist and i love to call myself the nutrition simplicity queen thank you for watching my videos thank you for your likes thank you for your comments i'll be back next time with another wonderful nutrition topic bye